certain things you learn in Inwood, they never leave you. You know, like the idea that if someone has a problem with you, the ground just falls out from beneath them where I'm from. You find yourself all alone. In life, I am sort of a guy's girl, and I feel like Lara is as well, and I don't think we see that a lot in female characters. And I just thought, God, I would really love to do that. Are you threatening me? <laughs> You're fucking right, I am. You really started something. I play Lara Axelrod, married to Bobby Axelrod, who happens to have a little bit of money. <laughs> the thing I like about Lara is that she grew up in a working class family, was a nurse, and she has this edge to her that is a bit different than someone who perhaps would have been born into money. You want me to be bad? She's a lovely person, but you just don't cross her. You can't beat her. I stopped trying. All right, boys, what do we say to Chef Ryan? Thank you. She's also very much a family girl. They have their two kids that they love, and she owns a restaurant where she has both of her sisters as her employees. Get your sweet ass in for dinner service. <laughs> you know, so she's kind of a little bit of everything. You deserve a Nobel Prize, you know that? If you're gonna make any show great, it's the relationships that we really care about the most. Think of all the good we're doing here tonight because they both worked for it. And they've grown at the same pace. Now they are this massively powerful couple, kind of rule in New York City. Lara has quite eloquently taken on this new role. I guess some women just don't have what it takes. Yeah, and some do.